What a cute animal. This is Llama, Llama 3 specifically. Nice, and why are we hosting this charming Llama today? Because this is not just a Llama. It knows a lot. What do you mean by this? Llama 3 is a new large language model from Meta. The Meta from Facebook? Yes, Meta from Facebook. They recently released the long-awaited model as open source. This is probably very good news for us. Probably? Yes, because we don't know the future. But I'm a fan of free and open LLMs. Let me show you something. On April 18th, the Meta released information about Llama 3. It is a large language model, actually two. One has eight and the other 70 billion parameters. This size allows it to run even on home computers. Releasing different size models is quite a popular trend. Google presented Gemini Nano, Pro, and Ultra. Claude, meanwhile, has a Haiku, Sonnet, and Opus version. As you can see, Meta compares the 8 billion Llama 3 to the Gemma 7B, an open source model from Google of similar size, and to the small Mistral. The 70B Llama, on the other hand, is compared to the mid sized Gemini and the mid sized Claude 3. This shows where Meta is positioning the 70B Llama 3, but we'll come back to that. It's worth noting that Llama outperforms the competition in each of these comparisons. It is worth noting that Gemini and Claude are both closed models, so can we assume that open source has caught up and overtaken the closed competition? We have to remember that, after all, we still have the Gemini Ultra and the Claude 3 Sonnet. There's also the somewhat aged GPT-4, and probably a version 5 around the corner as well. But here we have the answer. The largest model, which has 400 billion parameters, has not yet been released. We had a similar situation with Google, which showed off the Gemini Ultra, but we still had to wait a long time for its release. So will the Llama 400B be a worthy rival to the top models? We'll see. For now, we have some preliminary results, but we should wait to verify them in practice. So is the Llama 70B worth checking out or not worth it? It's always worth checking out what we get for free. Do you remember how we tested a BAP knowledge of other language models available for free? Sure. The link to that video should appear in the upper right corner of the screen. Great. We will test Llama 3 in the same way. First, we'll ask it to write a program, and then we'll see how it interprets a code. To do this, I use access to Llama 3 through the meta.ai site. Of course, this is not the only option, but it is nice that an easy service through the web is also available. I make a context entry and ask for the report containing the selected fields. I am very curious to see how he will do. Can it be on the level of GPT or rather Gemini Pro, which we tested? I guess that would be more fair, since both are middle models. We'll see. I don't expect a uh, model with 70B parameters to reach GPT levels either. But let's see. It's fast, but other than selecting the USRO2 table and the B name field, nothing else matches. Hallucination. I'll try to give a little hint, see if it can find information about the correct table structure. The wheel is spinning, so it's doing something. There is a table structure, ER dat as the creation date, and U flags as the lock. Everything is in place. We'll see if it can use this information. Other models sometimes had problems with this, and we reset the context. Let's give it a chance. There you go, there's a new code. Beautiful. Let's look at what it came up with this time. The names of the variables from the hallucination have been replaced with the correct entries. I'm copying the code because I think it's already worth trying it out on the system, even if some problems arise. I log into my sandbox. If you also want to have such a system, see another video on my channel. In SE3.8, I type the name of the new report. Okay, one already exists in my system, so they use as one. Here, I have to enter only the title of the report and select the type as executable program. This is my sandbox, so I can use a local object. An empty report appeared. I can paste the one prepared by Llama 3 from my clipboard. Time to save. Unfortunately, we have an activation error. How is this possible? 
Here's a typo I didn't notice. Such a human one. We'll see what Lama has to say about it. Cancel. And I'm returning to my browser to ask for a solution. This is a rather obvious fix. I think it can handle the change. I hope so. It noticed the difference. And yes, typo corrected, I can copy the new version and move it to the system. Switched. Pasted. Saved. Activation. And another error. Yes, this is problem with ABAP syntax versions mismatch. Common thing for LLMs. Let's just copy this and paste to Llama 3. A bit of these errors do occur, anyway. It would be easier if the AI could check the errors by itself. Yes, such systems for other languages I have already seen. Meanwhile, the answer appears. See, Llama has information about different versions of OpenSQL. Cool. We'll see if it works this time. So we are slowly moving forward. Only this copy, paste, and testing is taking some time. Yes, it's true. Automation would certainly help, but it's up to SAP to work on that. And we have another error. Let's copy this once more. We'll see if it leads anywhere. I must say that these large language models are patient, just like us. True, we may be about to find out who has more patience. I will give it three more shots at most. You already have the next version of the program. It's pretty fast. Yes, and I even have to admit, quite frankly, that it seems to understand the problems that arise. Which, with the increasing length of the context, is not all that obvious. We'll just see if we continue to make progress. Saved. Now activation. Isn't this the same error? Yes, it is. Although this time it's a different field. But since it has already solved one such problem, it can handle the other two. You see, this time it's uflag, and previously er dat. And how do you rate Llama 3 so far? Is it better than the Gemini Pro? You will know them by their fruits. Let's wait for the final results. And for now we have another stage, so I have to copy the code again. It's getting a little tiring already. Saved. Now activation. Wow, activated. Actually, it works. After so many troubles, only the headers are not there. No problem. I'll ask Llama to add headers. It would be nice. Then the report would be so much more complete, and certainly more readable. Uh, we'll see if it goes without bugs this time. We already have the code. The column names sound reasonable. The positioning is also explained. Let's see if it works. I'm sure it will run. It's time for a replacement. A constant routine. Save. Activate. Launch. Beautiful. Yes, I have to admit that I wasn't entirely convinced that it would work. But it works. It actually managed everything step by step. Now let's move on to the second part. To analyze a code snippet from a certificate report. Yes, indeed. I cleared out the chat to start a new thread. Now I'll go to my system to find the code snippet we asked the other large language models about. This was SSF alert cert expire. I'm choosing the same one. Here it is. My code snippet is at the beginning and is responsible for displaying a simple form piece. I copy it to the clipboard to present it to Llama 3. From what I remember, it was a simpler task that both previous models could handle. True. In fact. I have to say that Gemini handled it better, even though it was completely unsuitable for ABAP programming at the time. We have the answer. First of all, you can see that Llama easily recognized the programming language and wrote what it was for. Then we have a general description of what the code is for. And then a breakdown of the following elements. Quite detailed description. Finally, one more sentence of summary, briefly and to the point. Very good. Maybe actually Gemini here made a better impression, but probably also due to the clearer formatting of the text. Certainly a test passed. Then what is the final verdict? In my opinion, both tasks are fully scored. With the first one, there was a bit of work and corrections, but all the changes went in the right direction, and in the end, we got the result we expected. I fully agree, and as if you were to compare to Microsoft's Copilot, so ChatGPT4? Hmm. I have every confidence that the 70B Llama from Meta did better than the Gemini Pro from Google. Here, the advantage was given by the programming task. And this is a very fair comparison because here we are comparing the middle models from both companies. 
You have to take into account, of course, the time of release and the fact that Gemini also already has a new version. If, on the other hand, I am to compare with GPT-4, I have mixed feelings. Why? Because at first glance we are comparing incomparable, although I myself began to have doubts. On the one hand, we have a market leader with a large closed system, the exact technical details of which are unknown. On the other side, Lama, or rather David against Goliath, is facing the battle and manages it. It really does. Do you think so? Well, yes, look. It may not have been perfect, but do you remember what problems GPT-4 encountered? Well, yes, none of them are senior developers yet. And problems are indeed everywhere. That's right. So even if Copilot was better, because it probably was, here we have LLM that you can install on your home computer. With this size of model, this is a mega achievement. Yes, small models have improved a lot in recent months, showing that it's not just the number of parameters that counts, and yet the Llama 400B is still to come. It should be clearly better, although it will already require a lot more computing power. Then what is the final verdict? For me, the winner is Llama 3. Not for the quality of programming in ABAP, because probably GPT is better though. And yet, both are still not brilliant programmers. It wins for its openness and development prospects, for open source, and for actually getting the job done. Paradoxically, Meta has become a bit of what OpenAI was supposed to be. But that's another story altogether. Well, I like open source too. And viewers who subscribe to the channel and give likes to the videos. Yes, thanks for watching. May AI be a helping hand to you and not a competitor in the job market. See you next time.